Today what I'm going to talk about is something that I've had such a hard time to find out about, and that is how you write notes in standard notation in Guitar Pro. Now this is a great program, and it's intended to be used as a tab writer and player, so you can write notes like this on, on the tab. It also writes notes in standard notation for you. Now what if you want to do that in the opposite direction? Then I'm going to show you some, some very hot tips on how to do that. So I'm going to show you three things. The first one is how to write notes on directly on the standard notation so that they show up on the tab. All right, but also I'm going to show you how to do that and have it be in the right position that you intended on the tab. Secondly, I'm going to show you how to add strings and fingering notation to the standard notation. And thirdly, I'm going to show you how to change position of the notes on the tab without having to rewrite the notes, you know, delete and, and rewrite the, the note in the correct position on a different string. Those are the three things I'm going to show you. All right, well, let's take a look at number one. I've looked online to try and find out how to, how to write standard notation, and what I came up with was some, uh, it was a tutorial, I believe, which said you can use any of the number keys to write the note on the standard notation. Now, what, what happens is you can put your cursor on here, and you can either go up uh, you can either go up with a mouse or you can go up with, with the arrow keys, which I'm doing right now. Let's take away the tab, and we do that over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a C scale. Let's just try using the number one. So I hit the number one, arrow over, go up, go like this. There's our C scale. Great. See how that is. Whoops. Now look at that. We've got minus 16, minus 14. What the heck is that? Well, number one doesn't really do what we want. And let's start over again. I'm going to choose another number. And I'm just going to leave this up here just to see what happens. I'm going to, instead of using number one, let's say we use number zero. Okay. Okay. So let's write number zero. That's more like it. So we've got, now we've got a three on the fifth string showing up down there. Okay, I'm just going to delete that one. Let's try another number. How about number nine? Same thing. Okay, let's delete that one. Try number eight. Great. Okay. So something's wrong with that number one key, right? Let's try number seven. Number seven, get the same result. Delete. Okay, let's try number six. Now that is actually correct, but it's not in the position that you might intend if you're playing in the open position. Well, what I've discovered is strings 1 to 6 are represented by the numbers 1 to 6. So if you want that particular note to be on, on, a, on a certain string, then you type in the number. So let's see if that's correct. If I type in number 3, I'm sorry, uh, num uh, number 5, then we get that kind of effect. So we've actually got two notes there. I'm going to delete that one. That's what I was hoping to get. Say I typed in another number, just delete that one, and I'm going to go back to that same note, and let's see if I can I can play that on the third string. That doesn't make sense. It tries to put it on the third string, and it gives it a minus value, which is is uh, is total nonsense. So here's the thing: you can type in any number if it's not representing a string, and it will try to put it in the lowest fret of the guitar. Now, of course, you want to change those notes to other values. Here's how you do that. You can change that to uh, an eighth note, sixteenth note, and, and all of those other things right here on the keyboard. Now, there's a shortcut to that, which um, you may have picked up or you may know about. You can use the plus and the minus key. Now, this doesn't work exactly how, how I would think it would work, because if you're getting bigger notes, you would think you would use the plus symbol. But if you use the plus symbol, what actually happens is you get smaller note durations. So you go kind of the opposite to what I think is intuitive. So if I go minus, 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 I get back to the quarter note and I can go um, half note and, and a whole note. 
So let me now show you the second thing that I mentioned, which is how to notate the string numbers on the standard notation. So what I do is I'm going to window around the area where I want to show the string numbers, and then move over to this left panel over here, and you see it's got a number with a circle around it, and it says string number. So if I click on that, here's what we get. We get all of the string numbers shown right there. I'm just going to un undo that one and show you a different way. Now, you may not have that panel turned on. So there's, there's another way that you can use, and that is if you window around the, the area that you want to notate that way, then right click, and if I go to Note, and then move down to String Number, it does exactly the same thing. So that's how to do that, and that's, it's very fast. And then you can also add, if you want, the, uh, the, the fingering. And the way you do that, I'll just show you that too. If I, if I want to right-click right on that one, I can say Note, and, and it says um, left-hand fingering. So then you get this picture of a hand over here. So let's say I'm, I'm playing that on the, on the fifth string, so I'm going to use the third finger. And then it puts the number three right there next to the note. So that's how you put those fingerings on the standard notation. So now let's take a look at one of the most exciting things I found while I was researching how to explain this and how to, you know, how to, um, how to do this. And that is changing position of the notes where you want to play them on the fretboard. Now, as you know, in standard notation, these notes can be played in several different positions on the guitar. So how to change that? Well, you know, the way I've done it before is I've looked at that thinking, well, you know, I really want to play that on the sixth string, so let me think, okay, that's going to be the eighth fret right there. So then you get this double note over there, so I can go back, um, I can click on that one, delete. Okay, so that's kind of the long way, so let's just undo that one, shall we? What you can do, there's a really cool feature in Guitar Pro is uh, you do this and I'm going to show you with the right click. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to Note and do that one more time. Go to, go to Note. Now, here we have a shift up and shift down. What that means is if you say shift down, it means you want to shift onto a, a lower note string. All right, so let's see what happens. Shift down. Yes, it does that. So what it's done there is gone from eight like this. Then four, five. So what happens if I want to start that note instead of with the pinky finger, I want to use a second or, or the first finger and play it up the fretboard? Well, let's see. I'm going to right click again and go to note and I'm going to say shift down again. So let's see what happens there. And what it did is it moved these other notes down. So now what we've got is we've got this 8, 10, 12, and then it goes to 13, 10, 12, and then it goes 9, 10 for those notes. Now, actually, I don't really like that because what you've got here is you've got four notes on the same string. So you go, you can play it that way, but I, I find that kind of awkward. I'd rather play it a different way. So what you can do is take that one note, right click again, go note, and instead of shift down, let's say shift up. So now it's moved that note up to the eighth, eighth fret of the fifth string. So now it goes like this. Much better, I like that. So this is very nice, and I wish I'd known this before, but it's something I kind of discovered while I, I really wanted to be able to do this, and I couldn't find a tutorial. I hope that you found that valuable. Please hit the like button if you like this. The subscribe if you want to get more of these videos. I really like it when I can find cool stuff like this that makes our life easy when we're trying to write standard notation or text. So that's it for now. And remember, stay tuned and I'll see you soon.